It's a new week, which means it's time for another grocery haul. I did utilize Walmart delivery. This haul was a little bigger and I knew if I went in store, one, it's a little bit more time consuming and frustrating when you're looking for so many things. And two, the weather is a little icky. So I'd rather pay somebody to bring me my groceries. So that's what I opted for this week. There were, I think a total of six things that they could not find and the substitutions I was just not okay with so I denied all of them um, so I do have to run into either Target or HEB and then I also had like 15 things that I didn't put on my Walmart order because I wanted to physically look at the nutrition information on it the pictures that they have online sometimes I'm like uh, I want to look at it in person so I am going to be going to another store um, definitely a lot of meal prep this week last week I was out of town or last weekend so during the week I kind of just like pulled what we had on hand and made it super easy peasy on us but this week I've got some new recipes we want to try out and all the things. So I don't know what the total ended up being because like I said, there were several things not available, um, but I will pop up individual prices. And then I will include whatever, whatever other grocery store I go to as well. I'll, I'll share with you guys that too because it's gonna be a good amount of groceries from that store as well. All right, so here's everything from Walmart and I just started taking things out of the bag. I could have spread it out a little bit better, but I'm kind of in a time crunch. So um, this week is kind of like heavy on Bryce. I did ask him, he's been eating like a teenage boy, if you guys know what I mean. And so I was like, I want to have things that you specifically uh, like to eat because he's the main one that asks to eat out all the time or like order. And I'm like, no, <laughs> if we have stuff that you like to eat, uh, maybe you won't ask for ordering so much. So um, we'll go ahead and start over here and then work our way. I did get a couple nine food items, some laundry stuff. I like to have backups of everything. So I've only got one of my Clorox two containers in the laundry room. So I did go ahead and get another one. I thought about waiting until we go to Sam's club, but I was like, eh, I'll just pick things up when I need them or when I want them. And then same with the downy. So I've never tried this one before, but all the other downy ones said they wanted to be shipped. And I was like, nah, I kind of want everything right now. So this is the downy light ocean mist. So I'm, I'm sure I'll like it. I haven't not liked any of the downy laundry beads before and then of course kleenex because allergy season it is almost over there you guys the light is at the end of the tunnel for me my throat is actually a little scratchy today i can hear the difference but i don't hopefully it's not coming across on camera because whew, i sound a little rough to myself but this is a four pack of kleenex ultra soft because i've been sneezing so much that my nose is getting a little dry and raw all right we've got several different yogurt options here for a couple different things so this week I'm going to be sharing two different meal prep videos because I have so much on my agenda. One is going to be more breakfast themed and the other one is going to be a lunch themed. So I am using yogurt for a couple different things. I got the Fage Total 0% yogurt. This is a big one, 32, yeah, 32. And then same here, it's a 32 ounce container of the Oikos Triple Zero Blended Greek Yogurt. Um, one thing that I'm going to be doing is making some overnight oats and both of these little yogurt cups are for two different varieties for me. This is the Chobani Zero Sugar Blueberry Yogurt and then this Too Good is just in the vanilla flavored yogurt. So I'll be doing some stuff with those, some frozen berries. So one thing that Rose, she was like, we have a Lilo and Stitch cookbook and she was browsing through it and she wants to make some acai bowls. So we needed a couple different variations of frozen fruit. So I got this berry medley and they also love to do smoothies. So we're, we're running low, it's been a while. We had purchased a ton of different bags and big bags and we're finally getting through them. So I got the Great, the Great Value Berry Medley as well as the Great Value Sliced Bananas. They like those in smoothies. And then I needed the blueberries. I only need a little bit, so they'll be able to use these for smoothies as well, but I needed some frozen blueberries. So I got the Great Value Frozen Blueberries 
Coming over here, I had these two items still sitting in the bag because the rotisserie chicken, I wish they would have put it in a bag on its own just because it's got holes in it and the way that they had it, there's like juice everywhere. It's all over my mushrooms. No big deal, I'll just give it a good wipe down, but I got a rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and shred this up while it's still warm and we're utilizing that for a meal. And then I've got some sliced mushrooms here that is going into, I think this is a, is it a crock pot meal? I'm pretty sure this is a crock pot meal that I need the mushrooms for. So I got some sliced mushrooms for that. All right, this is one lunch that Bryce really likes, or dinner, he can have this as a dinner too um, if we're having something that he's not in love with. These are just quick, easy freezer meals that you can put in the microwave. So he actually picked one of these up at Target the other day and said he really, really liked it. So I went ahead and got two of them just to have in the freezer for like I said, those random, like a lunch, dinner, whatever. But these are the Banquet Mega Meats. It's a buffalo style boneless strip and then it has mac and cheese also. 33 grams of protein there for him. All right, these beef fine cubes is what that says here. I just needed some shredded, or not shredded, but cubed steak, and I didn't want it in the patties. Like cube steak is normally like, it looks like it's a patty. I wanted it already like this, so it's already broken up. Um, I'm pretty sure that the mushrooms, this is what the mushrooms are going to, are going with in the crock pot for a meal. Two packages of ground beef. Pretty sure I only need one this week, but we are completely out. So I went ahead and added in a second one just in case. That way we have one in the freezer. A two pound pack of strawberries. This is just a fruit that everyone loves to eat. Cherub tomatoes are also just a great little produce snack for the kids. I, I let them, I rinse them, let them sit out on the counter. I have a little tray and they'll just, anytime they come in the kitchen, they'll just take one or two and snack on them. Big bag of onions. I feel like I'm using an onion in every single dinner I make. <laughs> so I went ahead and just got a bag that way I've got plenty of onions on hand. These mini cucumbers, the girls like to snack on these. So I went ahead and picked those up as an option for this week. Bananas. I actually got the bananas one. If the kids want to have one, they can have one. Um, but I want three of them to get just a little soft because I found a new banana muffin to try. It's with um, actually... I didn't pick it up, but I'll have to pick it up next week if I end up making it. But it's a like a chocolate Kodiak cake protein muffin that I wanna try for the kids, So, but it's got bananas in it. So I went ahead and got a bunch of bananas, romaine lettuce for a meal. I think actually this is going with a, a lunch, um, but I went ahead and got the three pack. That way, if Rose wants like a BLT or we can chop up a quick salad to go on the side of dinner with like the tomatoes and the cucumbers, I can just throw together a quick salad. So I went ahead and got the three pack bagels. Rose just had the last bagel just the other day. So I went ahead and put a pack of bagels in my grocery order for the kids. We still got plenty of the whipped cream cheese for that. Got the plain great value white sandwich bread for sandwiches for the kids, grilled cheeses, um, avocado toast, all the things. So I went ahead and got a loaf of bread for them. All right, I got, I think there's a Supreme also, but I think I got every other flavor or kind of pizza that they have in the Ninja Turtle pizzas. So originally I just had the Mac Attack, which is down here, the Mac and Cheese pizza in my cart. And then when I mentioned it to Bryce, he was like, can you get the other flavors too? I really liked all of them. So I won't make all of these one night. We'll, you know, pick one at a time, depending on if it's for a lunch or a dinner for the kids. So I got the pepperoni, the cheese, the sausage and pepperoni, and then of course the Mac attack. So they are set on frozen pizza. Um, also, I got some pizza rolls. This is a 50 count, so this will be like one lunch. And typically I save this for like the weekend if kids, extra kids are over. So this will go real quick. This weekend we'll probably be out of that, but got the combination pizza rolls. All right, hot dogs here. The Turkey Franks is something that Mark and I are gonna have with one of our lunches this week. And if we like it, there's plenty in here. So we'll have some for next week. I'll put it on next week's plan as well for our lunch. And then Rose really likes turkey hot dogs. So I know she'll like those. Pearl, I don't think Pearl cares on what kind of hot dog, but Bryce is beef all the way. He does not like turkey anything. Turkey 
turkey bacon, turkey hot dogs. He likes beef hot dogs and regular bacon, although um, he does like turkey sandwiches, so that's kind of weird. But anyway, I got the bun size, size beef hot dogs as a lunch or dinner option for the kids as well. Needed the hot dog buns to go with the hot dogs. When we have those, we still have a bag of french fries in the freezer, so that's just a quick, like I said, lunch or dinner option, depending on what we've got going on. The top slice is the way to go. Easy peasy, the kids love them, so I always get the top slice. Back to Bryce, like I said, heavy on Bryce this week. Um, breakfast options, he really loved those breakfast nuggets, and I think a couple people said Costco. Somebody said that it looked like they like aren't making them anymore, so he does like anything that's like sausage, egg, and cheese. So I got a couple different options. I got these not too long ago, and he really liked them. The Jimmy Dean Biscuit Roll-Ups. So it's pork and chicken sausage, egg, and cheese. There's eight in there. So I went ahead and got that again for him, and then I got the breakfast burritos, sausage, egg, and cheese, and there's only four of those in here. And then I got the toaster strudel, or the Jimmy Dean brand. They're, he's calling them toaster pop-ups. So this is a pastry filled with pork and chicken sausage, egg and cheese and there's eight in here and I mean I got them with Bryce in mind but Rose and Pearl can definitely have at them <laughs> as well but he's the one who like he loves this kind of thing first thing in the morning when he's doing his school work so I went ahead and stocked up on that one thing that Rose did request is hash browns she loves hash browns so I went ahead and got a pack of the hash brown patties for her the black forest ham is we're going to be making some sliders for dinner one night and that is what this is for also, I don't know if I've ever picked this up and now I cannot remember what I needed it for, but I'm, I'm doing a recipe that specifically calls for the light. I can't believe it's not butter. So I went ahead and picked that up. The four pack of the sweet cream salted butter is actually for the kids. Mark and I have not used butter in I don't even know how long, four weeks almost. So this is for the kids. Also, I got one gallon of whole milk because that's what we are down to right now. No longer going through two a week. So just needed the one. The skim milk or 0% great value, fat-free 0% milk is for a couple different things. It's for a breakfast. I think I use it in, the, I'm making the biscuits and gravy casserole again. Mark really loves that. So I'm gonna make that again. It calls for some skim milk and then I'm making three different versions of creamies for the Ninja Creamy, and those are really for the kids. Um, I made the Reese's one last, or two weeks ago for Mark and I, and we loved them. We like devoured it, and the kids were like, okay, it's our turn. <laughs> so I'm making three different variations for them, and they all call for skim milk. Um, behind the skim milk and to the side, I went ahead and just stocked up on the egg whites. I feel like we do use egg whites a lot. So I got three. Um, this might be enough going into next. I feel like it's gonna be enough going into next week as well. So we'll see how small next week's grocery haul is, but I got three of the 32 ounce containers of the great value 100% liquid egg whites. And then the cashew butter that I picked up was okay, but Mark and I definitely prefer the unsweet vanilla almond milk. So we're gonna finish out the cashew milk. That should last us through half of this week. Um, but then I did go ahead and pick up two of the almond milks because um, that's also going into the Ninja Creamies and we use that in our protein coffee in the morning. So went ahead and got that. Still have a couple boxes of mac and cheese from that big box that I bought the last time we went to Sam's, but Rose really likes the shaped ones. I don't know why, I don't know what difference it makes, but she's like, they just taste better and they didn't have any of like the fun shapes. You know, sometimes they have unicorns or Paw Patrol or whatever. She doesn't care what shape it is. She just likes the shape pasta better. All they had on the app was the spirals. So I went ahead and got three boxes of the spirals for her. Not sure if we're gonna run out of maple syrup or not. I feel like we have a little less than half, but I but some of our breakfast, we're, we're utilizing syrup a little bit more this week than we have previously. So I did go ahead and get another Maple Grove Farms sugar-free maple syrup or like pancake syrup, that kind of thing. Let's see, we'll... I don't know what Polly's hissing at, but she's whining to somebody. <laughs> okay, back here, the light mayo. They actually, I was surprised to see that because they let me know that, oh, he just, Oliver just got done playing ball. <laughs> so he's in here now. You guys might be hearing him for a little bit, huffing and puffing. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah. Yep, you can tell when he comes in, breathing with his tongue hanging out that he had a good play session. 
I think it was Pearl's day today. Yeah, she was out there playing with him. All right, but they actually told me that this wasn't available. This was one of the items that they said wasn't in stock and they didn't have a substitution for, so I'm surprised to see that. Um, I'll have to double check and make sure I paid for it because since they told me it wasn't available, but I did get the light mayo. Last time I got the small one because I wasn't sure about the taste for us, but it tastes just the same. So I got a bigger one this time. And then I got a box. There's four cans in there, four five ounce cans of the albacore tuna in water. Um, that is not on plan for this week, but that's just something I like to have in the pantry because if we want to switch things up or, you know, something happens, I almost forgot to start dinner this morning, you guys, in the crock pot. So if something happens where I'm like, oh dang, it's lunchtime and I did not prep our lunch, Tuna is something really quick and easy that we can make for some extra protein and all of that. Okay, uh, speaking of protein, I went a little crazy with the flavors on the Premier Protein. So I'm so used to buying them in a big box that I didn't realize all the flavors they had. And Mark does have plenty of vanilla, but I saw some that I know I'm not gonna like, but I think he would enjoy trying. Also, Bryce is really enjoying some of the stuff that we're having as far as like the protein bars and um, some, of the, some of the meals that I'm making. Not all of them, but some of them. And he hasn't, but he hasn't tried these yet and I want him to. I feel like that would be a good option for him as well. So I got a couple different flavors. These two, I'm, gonna, I'm afraid to open them because one of them is leaking somehow. There's something going on somewhere. So I'm gonna have to check if like a whole, something was punctured or what because I'll definitely ask for my money back, but I'm afraid to open it <laughs> to see what happens. Um, but this one's cookie dough. I got, they're all four packs. So this one is cookie dough. I thought that would be one that Bryce would really like because he loves anything chocolate chip cookie dough. So I did get that for him. Um, this one behind it is strawberries and cream. Mark absolutely loves strawberry flavored anything. So I thought he might enjoy trying that. And then also for Mark, he really loves Oreos. And this one is cookies and cream. Again, four pack. So I did go ahead and get this one. The cafe latte is for me. I love that one. I did have the caramel one in the cart also. He said they didn't have it. My shopper said he was like, they don't have the caramel one, um, which is no big deal because I should have enough to get me through this next week. And then I'll just have to get some more for me going, going forward unless I want to venture out and try one of these i'm not sure um and then this one down here hold on let me show you guys is another one that i got with mark in mind i'll, I'll just have to take some of his vanilla ones um but this one is chocolate peanut butter which is crazy yeah he's he's gonna want to try these for sure and we'll see how he likes them compared to the plain vanilla but these flavors just got me and i was like we're gonna just go ahead and try them out so i definitely went a little crazy stocking up on the premier protein old-fashioned oats this is for the overnight oats i'm going to be making for myself as a breakfast option and then one of our desserts we are going to be actually is it a, we have it is it breakfast or dessert well now i can't remember i think it's a breakfast but we're going to be having having like waffles with apple pie filling on top it's more like a dessert but it's a breakfast if you know what i mean so i got the no sugar added apple pie filling um for one of our dinners i needed a cream of mushroom soup so i picked that up for the biscuits and gravy casserole i finally found the flaky layers last time we had to use like regular ones it's a little We'll be able to tell if there is a difference, but I went ahead and picked that up. Um, for a dinner, I needed the onion soup dip mix, and I went ahead and got the two pack. That way I have one in the pantry for next time if we really like this dinner. If, if we're finding that we're liking things, I'm putting them on repeat, either the very next week or like the following week, because once we find something we like, it's really easy to make it again and just know that we're set. All right, two different extracts. I got the almond extract. I am low on that one. So I went ahead and picked another one up. I don't have cake batter extract at all. So I went ahead and got a cake batter. This one I know for sure is for the Ninja Creamy. This one I feel like it's for something else, but we'll see when I get to it, I guess when I'm cooking. Okay, I did get the Kodiak Power Cakes in the Flapjack and Waffle Milks and waffle mix not milk oh my gosh waffle mix and buttermilk um i need this for i think these are going for the protein waffles that we're going to have the apple pie filling over if i'm not mistaken 
All right, raisins. I was not paying attention to how big of a container this was because I only need it for one overnight's oats. But if I like the overnight oats that I'm making, I'll just put it on repeat. All the I feel like the kids haven't had a raisin in forever. So I'll see if they like those. They can snack on them. Dill relish. I feel like we've been using that a lot and we are almost out. So I went ahead and just put this in my cart just in case we don't have any need for it this week but as i see that like i said meals that we like and we're running low on stuff i just went ahead and put it in the cart to stock up all right the vanilla zero sugar jello pudding mix is for one of the ninja creamies that i'm going to be making two other items for the acai bowls that rose wants to make out of the lilo and stitch cookbook she needed some granola so I went ahead and just got the plain oats and honey with protein. It says 13 grams of protein per two third cup serving. So I got that for her um, and Pearl. And then some macadamia nuts. So she wanted those or the recipe showed like macadamia nuts on the top. So I got the chopped macadamia nuts for that. And then one of the lunches that Mark and I are going to have um, has, there's chili in it. So I got two cans of the Hormel chili with no beans. 15 grams of protein per serving. So that's going to be going in a lunch for us. But that is everything that I got from Walmart. Um, but don't go anywhere yet. I, I do need to run into, I'm not quite sure yet, HEB or Target. Um, but I'll show you guys what I picked up from there. All right, everything from HEB. Now there are a couple things that we could not find, but we don't really need them. They were just things that we ran out of, so they can wait. We don't need them for this week. I'll just put it on my list for next week. Um, so I kind of separated things. This is everything that was on my list that we were able to find. This is everything that was not on my list that we picked up. <laughs> So I will be popping up prices so you guys can see how it all adds up. Um, so let's go ahead and start. I feel like this is becoming just a thing. Every time we go to HEB, these are the three things we pick up for the kids. So Bryce really likes their oven roasted turkey and mustard cheese on croissant sandwich from their deli. So I went ahead and got that for him. Pearl, of course, loves sushi. So Mark, he was with me. He went ahead and picked this combo, the North Texas combo out for her. And then of course, Rose really loves the nacho lunchable. So I got the uploaded one for her that comes with like the drink, with the little um, water flavor packet and a fruit roll up. And then of course, more extras. Um, I saw these and Bryce, and Pearl both really like spicy chicken sandwiches. So I don't think I've picked this one up before. I've gotten the regular chicken sandwich and the hamburger one before. They also have a ham one. I don't know if I picked that one up or not, um, but Bryce prefers turkey lunch meat versus ham. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. There's six in there. So that's just a quick, easy lunch or even snack because they're not super big. They're just like half little pe uh, pita pockets there. So they, I figured they would like those. And then Pearl really likes to add the seaweed to her ramen sometimes. So I saw these different flavors. Normally she's completely out and normally I get her the sea salt one, but I saw these flavors and I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up so they can, so she can try different flavors. There is the white cheddar, a chili lime, and then a toasted sesame. And then kind of last minute, Mark and I were like, uh, so I made, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen, um, I'm filming this on Saturday. The Walmart haul was Mon um, Friday night, but bless you, Oliver sneezing back there. Um, but I made some Ninja Creamies, those are for the kids. I made three different flavors for the kids to try. So Mark and I were, were like, you know what? We don't have our like dessert or anything sweet planned for this week yet. So we just went ahead and grabbed some ice cream also to have in the freezer. I am obsessed with this sea salt caramel, you guys. So we were supposed to have like half at a time. So this would last me four days because we only eat half. Um, but I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was watching Gilmore Girls and I would, I ate the whole thing. I just ate it. <laughs> So oh, a good thing I was a little under that day already on all my like calories and everything and carbs. So it didn't put me over too much, but I was the next day I didn't have a, a snack I had or a dessert. I had to um, figure something out, else out to fit into my macros. So I need to pay attention with that sea salt caramel halo top because it is super delicious and it's so creamy. So I got that one. Mark got the, is that just strawberry? Yeah, just strawberry. He's a huge fan of strawberries. And then we both picked out the oat milk cookie Cookie. So we're both gonna give that one a try. And then last but not least, as far as things not on the list, um, I saw these on an end cap. And the kids really love goldfish and they like 
the sour cream and onion like Pringles and stuff. So I went ahead and picked up two different bags. I think they might have had, I think it was salt and vinegar, the third flavor option that they had. I don't think the kids would like that one, but these are goldfish crisps, light and airy. So I just picked those up. The kids don't have any like snacky or chippy thing in the pantry. So I went ahead and got that and then everything else was on my list. So I needed some bread and basically I was just looking for calorie wise. I wanted a bread that was 40 calories per slice or under and this one fit that bill. So I got the Nature Own Life Keto Soft White and this is for, I'm making some chicken salad for lunch as a lunch option this week as well as for breakfast, we're going to be having um, some French toast bowls. And we still have a like half of the honey one, same brand, Nature's Own, but it's a keto like honey wheat one. So I'll use that for the French toast if there's enough. And then this, if we want to use the chicken salad on a sandwich or not, or we could just eat it as is. So got that. I wasn't originally, this was like a last minute add on to my list because we do have a bag of French fries. Um, I originally planned that for the kids for either a lunch or dinner one night, but I'm making something that you can top on pretty much anything for dinner. I'm making cracked chicken and we're splitting it like three different ways. And I was like, well, why don't we have it on fries one night? I think that's how, um, I think Nicole has had hers on fries before and it just looked really, really good. So we went ahead and picked up the golden steak fries for that. Rose with her recipe from the Lilo and Stitch cookbook that I talked about, some of the stuff I picked up from Walmart. Um, she's making acai bowls and it called for unsweetened acai. So I went ahead and got two packs of that for her because she'll make some for Pearl too. I don't, Bryce doesn't really like this type of thing. He may want to try it. So I think she only needed like one pack is probably enough, but I went ahead and got two. This is also for the crack chicken. So we're going to have it on French fries one night, probably the same night that the kids have hot dogs. That way I'm just making French fries and then they'll have hot dogs. We'll have the crack chicken. I know that that's not going to be their jam. Pearl probably she'll have some, but Bryce and Rose, not so much. Um, and then another night we're going to have it on this protein plus bow tie pasta and then i'll utilize some of this pasta and make spaghetti for bryce and rose and pearl if she doesn't want to have cracked chicken again she can have spaghetti as well uh one non-food item i needed a mini whisk the two whisks that i have are fairly large and sometimes i just need a little bit i just need a little little whisk for things so i went ahead and got a little one for that mark went ahead and picked up some more tuna packets just to have on hand in case he needs you know some more prote protein or something in at the end of the day so we got two of the H-E-B brand ones, the Cuban style with citrus and garlic, and then the Cajun style. And then he got just a plain one. This one's not flavored at all. It's just wild caught albacore white tuna in water. Um, the boxes of a Butterfinger, oh, that light is really glaring right there. Uh, here, here we go. So I got two boxes of the Butterfinger minis. This is actually for one of the creamies. I'm doing the uh, Butterfinger creamy for the kids as well as I need I, the recipe called for mini Oreos, but because the kids are obviously counting macros, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the mix-ins that I add for them, they can have more if they want. I could not find mini golden Oreos, so I just went ahead and got the family size of the golden double stuff Oreos, and I will just chop these up into little smaller pieces and add these into their, um, I'm making a cake batter. I think that's what this one's going into. Yeah, the cake batter, creamy for them. I am almost out of vanilla. You guys, I have not had to buy vanilla in so a long, such a long time. I had so much of it, um, but finally I am nearing the end. So I went ahead and grabbed like one of the biggest ones that I could find because I do use that pretty often. And then this was one thing that I couldn't find exactly what was on our list. I was looking for the G Hughes um, sugar-free sesame teriyaki marinade and I could not find it. Walmart said they didn't have it and HEB did not have it. Uh, maybe Target has it, but I'm not gonna go to a third store. So I just went ahead and settled on the original teriyaki marinade and sauce by Kikoman and we will use that. We only need a little bit of it. So it'll be fine that it's not sugar-free. The, the amount that we're using versus like the calories and the carbs are not bad at all. Big bag of vegetables, <laughs> stir fry vegetables. This is a five pound bag, but we need half of this for a lunch that I'm prepping for Mark and I. We're having, I think it's, the recipe is like three cups. So Mark and I are both having that two days in a row. So we need 12 cups total. Um, and then I'm assuming we're gonna really like it. So we can always put it 
on the meal plan for next week also or make it into a dinner um, and that way we can eat a little bit more so we can utilize this entire bag but I'm excited for some of the meals I have planned for this week all right and then the third we're having cracked chicken three days in a row well we can spread it out if we don't feel like having it three days in a row but we're having it three different ways um the third way is we have some of those la banderita is that what they're called i think that's the brand of like the lower calorie or lower carb tortillas and we're gonna do like a, a chicken taco type of thing so i just picked up this power slaw just for a little crunch in our little taco um it's broccoli kohlrabi brussels sprouts red cabbage carrots and kale so we'll just add that to it and we'll have a little chicken taco for dinner that night some blueberries i'm making some overnight oats and i'm making a blueberry version so i picked up some blueberries for that and i got a bigger container because i know the girls will eat on this also and i'm thinking about making some blueberry muffins for them um next week not this week they still have actually they still have pumpkin muffins and banana muffins so i'm gonna have to put those in the freezer um i'll check with them and see if they're kind of like overeating in the muffins but i'll make some blueberry muffins if there's any of these left over for next week and then i just realized when i was putting this bag out here i don't know if it was ripped like somehow got ripped or um what but i picked up another bag of the tyson blackened chicken breast strips bryce and i had these this past week for lunch and we both really like them um but i still have the other bag there's a little bit left in there so I'm just going to transfer what's in here to that other bag um, since this one is ripped a little bit. And then last but not least, we got some more cat food. I think they only have two or three days left. And last time I got the shreds, the cats really like, they don't like the, um, what are they, like the pate ones, just the thick meaty ones. They like the ones that have like a lot of gravy and little pieces. And the shreds are a little much for Riley, our smallest cat. She's been having a hard time. Like she's shaking her head, trying to get the long pieces up. So I saw these meaty bits and I figured we would give these a try and see if these um, she could digest a little easier or eat a little easier. So this is a 24 pack and there's eight, there's, well, there's three different flavors, eight of each. So there's, there's a gourmet grill in gravy, a chicken dinner in gravy, and then it just says with, with beef in gravy. So I think the cats will really like that, but oh, okay, we're done. That's it for groceries. All right, and normally I'm looking the exact same, like at the beginning of the video and the end of the video, but I really thought I was gonna go and get all my groceries yesterday and that just didn't end up happening. So this is how I'm looking Saturday <laughs> instead of Friday, but I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I am going to be filming a ton of meal prep this week and I'm going to break it into two different videos. I cannot remember if I mentioned that yet. So I'm gonna have a breakfast meal prep coming up next and then the next video will be a lunch meal prep. So. Hopefully you guys are excited about those. I also hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.